Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Hope you're having a fantastic day. One of the things I love about Android phones, I'm not talking about Samsung phones, but Android phones in general, is that you can vertically scroll when you're in your launcher and you're looking at all of your apps. Samsung phones, you can only do left to right. Now they've had updates in the Home Up app where you could vertically scroll, but it was kind of weird and it wasn't the same vertical scrolling that you would say get on like a Pixel phone where it's just like up and down, it's beautifully, it's fast, it's awesome. I love the vertical scrolling. Again, I don't know why Samsung's launcher hasn't had it. You could always use a third party launcher to get around that fact, but I've been using the launcher that comes with the phone and not switching from that for years now. But Samsung's finally getting vertical scrolling for real this time. It's gonna happen, not for a bit though. And here is the information coming from Tarun. Tarun is saying that vertical app drawer is finally coming to One UI 7. Good luck, devs confirm it's arriving in the next OS update, not One UI 6.1.1. Get ready to ditch the horizontal scroll on your Galaxy. You can see this is what he's talking about where it says good luck support team. Please note that the home up vertical list function is currently being prepared for support in the next OS version. Now, I would assume you'll probably have an, a feature in there where you can go back to just having it be left to right scrolling. You gotta imagine they're gonna have that as well. But it's freaking crazy that you've had to wait this long to get vertical scrolling on a Samsung Galaxy phone, like real honest to goodness. So expect this update, at least the betas, to start rolling out in October or November of 2020. Four. Last story of the day, if it doesn't show you that Samsung's not pushing the envelope in a lot of ways, I don't know what does. Galaxy S25, not the 25 Plus or the 25 Ultra, but the regular 25 is keeping a feature that is just, I cannot believe they're not changing still. The tweet from Ice Universe was a reply that Samsung put up about having really fast RAM. He says, great, but then the Galaxy S25 only uses eight gigabytes of RAM, like that's insane to have a phone that is in 2025 and it's a quote unquote flagship phone and still only use eight gigabytes of RAM, especially on the Android side. That is not a good look. And to be fair, if you wanna play the devil's advocate, a lot of people, mom and dad, your sister, your brother, your friend, probably don't even realize how much RAM their phone has or doesn't have, but there's still a lot of people that buy those S25 phones, the regular base version, and that is going to, man, that's not gonna feel good. As these Android versions get more memory hungry and power hungry and apps get more power hungry and memory hungry, that is not going to sit well, especially with a phone coming out in 2025. That is absolutely insanely crazy. The base on Android phones should be 12, and they should be working up to 16, and 20, and 24, and so on and so forth. What are your thoughts on this? I gotta know. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.